Channel, everyone's been waiting for the Open Derby of the 2016 NCHA Great American Summer Spectacular. And the man of the night was Kenny Plaid, who took it out on Mum Stylish Player with no less than a 228. Congratulations to you, Kenny. Thank you, I appreciate it. You looked absolutely elated when you won that. Did it feel like a winning run at that, run at that point? Well, you know, I've never felt anything that feels better. So, yeah, I mean, that, that'd have to be what it felt like for sure. So, so um, the run, the ride seemed to really... Um, build like a crescendo uh, by that third cow you're bringing the house down can you put us in the saddle with you uh, describe it to us well you know my first cow um you know it was a cow we i you know we really liked and and you know we just i cut it cut it good and that horse had a little half miss on it right there at the beginning and it, it seemed like you know he almost knew like he had a little miss you know a little little step out of place there and, and when he regained control of that cow he, he was like he wasn't going to turn it loose on those next two and and my second cow was good, and, and that third cow, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was a huge fan of it, and it was in a good spot, and Grant Setnica had been talking about it nearly the whole time we'd been sitting up there, and he's like, he's like, hey, man, here it is, and, we, we, you know, we got it in the spot, and he said, come on with it, and, and, and it was a really good call. It was probably the best cow cut, you know, the whole time here, <laughs> so, you know, I, I got to give him props for that. That was unbelievable, so. Now, on the second cow there, was it, did the horse, did it sit down? What happened there? Well, you know, he just he gets pretty pressured up. I, you know, he's always done that ever since he was a three-year-old. And, and uh, you know, when I quit that cow, you know, he, there's so much pressure. He feels so much pressure and takes it so serious. You know, he, he just, he, I think he just kind of let down a little bit right there. You know, when I got him back up and, and, you know, he was fine. So, and he's, like I said, he's done it forever. I didn't think anything of it. I just turned around and cut another cow. And, and when I got done and they had that review on the run, you know, I wondered if that was what it was for, and I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't heard yet, but I think it was. So. Yeah, because you seem to be very cool about it, but, you know, inside you weren't panicking or anything like that. You were just used to it, were you? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's done it. You know, he's always kind of been that type of horse to, you know, to lay down a little bit or want to lay down on a cow, and, and uh, which is what makes him so good. Um, but, yeah, I just turned around and cut another cow and, and kept going. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do anyway, you know, no matter how how it's going just act like it's all part of the plan so exactly and you you got a 226 with a review um how did that feel how did you get through that 20 minutes or so well i'd spent about 20 minutes feeling like i was going to throw up and uh and then and then when they reviewed it and they they raised it up it was just you know un unbelievable you know just there's so i mean that run right there that's that's why everybody cuts i mean to have that feeling and and uh I, there's no better feeling in the world i, I don't think you know so. yeah yeah you made me kind of jealous i felt like i needed to jump on one of those well, you probably do you probably do <laughs> yep now um you have just had back-to-back -back victories in this arena um on the same horse with the same score at the end of the day i mean that's a pretty phenomenal feat how does that feel well i don't i don't really think the the first one's really sunk in yet you know i mean just i've just been coming down here since i was a a, a kid and and watching and just I, you know, I mean, I just love this sport and these horses, and, and uh, that first one just, you know, was just unbelievable, you know, and, and I was awestruck, and I, I think I'm I'm pretty awestruck right at the moment. I I mean, I, I really don't have the words, you know, I'm just, I, I'm pretty proud to just, you know, be amongst this, this level of competition and be able to, to be right there with them, you know, and it feels pretty good. So. You're certainly making your presence felt here. Yeah, good horse helps that, though, yeah. Uh, compare it to the ride uh, in at the Super Stakes. Um, I didn't have I didn't have that miss right off the bat at the Super Stakes in that run, but uh, this horse tonight felt stronger, and and the run finished a lot crisper and cleaner. Um, you know the run at the Super Stakes was really pretty first two cows, and that last cow was really hard. This run was hard and fast and and very very controlled all at the same time, and and I just. I mean, I don't know. It, was, it felt un unbelievable. Yeah. So tell us about this horse. What's he been like to train? Hard at first, you know, like r real hard in his three-year-old year. year. Um, I got him from Lawson Hadlock, and uh, Lawson did a good job getting him getting him broke, and, and uh, I got him at the end of his two-year-old year, year uh, towards the end of his two-year-old year, year, and uh, Lawson did a good job getting him broke. He was always very uh, you, a little Nothing slow to get a hold of the cow, you know, and and uh, but he, you know he's been kind of a labor of love but i always knew you know always could feel what was in him and and it just kept me kept me going and and uh i kind of kept him going and it's really worked out well so. do you have a special bond do you think yeah i yeah i mean you know like 
how could you not? Like something that tries that hard to, to, to be good. I mean, he just puts himself in, in a position all the time to hurt himself trying to help me. And, and I mean, how can you not have a special bond with something like that? It's it's unbelievable. So, so what's the future? Just, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go to the shows that I feel like are, are worth going to with him and, and, you know, just try to keep him sound and, and take as good a care as I can of him. And because obviously, you know, he's pretty special to me and my family and it, Robert Trigimbo's owner and everybody. I mean, he's he's just what keeps us, it's what keeps you walking out to the barn every morning. So, yep. Kenny, how, how did you get into cutting? Tell us about that. You know, my, my mom got me started in cutting. Um, she always really liked horses and, and uh, had, all, had all kinds of just different horses and, and stuff. And, and she decided she wanted to go this route and do that, you know, do the cutting. And she got me into it. And I mean, she drug me around when I was a little kid to, you know, club cuttings and small cuttings. And, you know, when, when uh, like when Lloyd Cox lived in Colorado, you know, she would get me up real early in the morning if we were going to a little cutting and, you know, to make sure we went and watched Lloyd show in the open, you know, because she told me he was the best. And obviously she was right. And, and uh, you know, she just is, is, is really, I, I give her pretty much all the credit. So. Well, she's a very proud, to, a very proud mother tonight. Yeah, well, she's a she's a good woman. So, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.